What's up YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin coming back to you with another video and welcome to my NFL 2017 week 11 picks week 10 I went 12 and 2 uh, I actually got a surprise pick um, I picked the Niners to win their very first game against the Giants and of course they ended up winning the Giants terrible but uh, heading into week 11 of course you have the Thursday night game Tennessee Titans uh, headed to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers I picked the Steelers on Twitter and the Steelers Beat them down pretty bad, you know, uh, on a really bad game by Mariota. So I'm starting out the week one and zero. And before I get into the Sunday picks, the teams with buys are the Indianapolis Colts, the New York Jets, San Francisco 49ers, and the Carolina Panthers. So there will not be a Carolina Panthers recap. I'll talk about um, the game I am gonna do. I did a poll on Twitter. I'm gonna talk about that when I get to that game. Uh, starting Sunday, Detroit Lions head to Chicago play the Bears. I, I like Detroit in this game. The Bears, they had chances to win that Packers game. They got robbed on a really bad call by the refs, but John Fox is an idiot. He shouldn't have challenged that play. He should have just went up and quickly ran a play, but he chose to challenge it for whatever reason. So I, I, at this point, I see John Fox being out of there in Chicago. The fans... Uh, are have completely turned against him. Um, you you should have already turned against him, against him the moment he got hired. But I have the Lions winning in in this one. And, you know, Chicago Bears have played teams tough, and they beat my Panthers. They beat Pittsburgh. They played the Falcons tough. Last week was a huge blow because of the way they lost that game. So I'm gonna pick the Detroit Lions in this one. Next game, Jacksonville Jaguars head to Cleveland play the. Browns. I, I I can't pick Cleveland and not against one of the best defenses in football. Bortles almost he, he tried his best that him and that offense tried their best to lose that game um, last week's game. But I'm against Cleveland. Cleveland's offense is terrible. Their defense is terrible. I like Jacksonville to really dominate the game on defense. Next game, Baltimore Ravens head to Green Bay to play the Packers. Baltimore. They've been a weird team this year. They, they, they have a game where they play really good, and they have a game where they play really bad. Now, the passing game has been terrible. The running game has been a lot better than the passing game. Green Bay, uh, they 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 got over on one against Chicago. I'm going to go with Baltimore. I think Baltimore will be able to control the game with their running game. Passing game... It's a huge question mark behind that because the talent in Baltimore from a receiving standpoint isn't that great. And let's just be honest, Joe Flacco's not that good. But I'm still going to go with Baltimore. Uh, I think they'll be able to get pressure on Hundley. Next game, Tampa Bay Buccaneers head to Miami play the Dolphins. I believe Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to start Tampa Bay. I picked against them last week. They ended up winning. That was one of my two losses. Um... I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Miami. I know Miami got destroyed by Carolina, but Carolina. The running game. Um, the defense. The defense was really able to shut down Miami. Miami scored some garbage time uh, points. But Tampa Bay's defense is not that good. Now I said the same thing with the Jets. So I'm, I'm still gonna go with Miami in this one. I, I just don't trust Ryan Fitzpatrick. And yeah, he was okay, but he's going to have that game where he just turns the ball over. So I'm going to go with Miami at home. Next game, one of the games of the week. Well, actually, one of the games, uh, one of the three games that, I, that was in my poll. Los Angeles Rams head to Minnesota to play the Vikings. These two, these teams are also fighting with the Eagles to try to get that home, home field advantage. And of course, to get that first round by. This is a tough one. This is a really tough because the Rams offense has been really good. Defense has been good. You know, uh, Jared Goff, his progression in terms of NFL, you know, NFL quarterback play, once the offensive line got better, once the uh, receiving weapons got better, you saw this guy get really good. Minnesota Case Keenan's 
he had a good week last week. You know, he had the team put up 38 points. Against the Washington, a uh, pretty solid Washington uh, defense. This one's tough. I like... I like the Vikings. I like the Vikings defense a little bit more. But the problem with the Vikings, the running game, ever since Dalvin Cook went down, the running game has not been as good. So it's really tough because, you know, you're forcing Case Keenum to sit back and throw just because the, the running game isn't as effective. The offensive line play is much better this year than last year. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with the Vikings at home. This is a tough one. It, it could go either way because both these teams have played great this season. Uh, next game, the Washington Redskins head to New Orleans to play the Saints. New Orleans have been on a roll. Ever since they beat the Panthers, they've been on a roll. The defense is, the defense is out there getting stops. Last week, they absolutely destroyed the Bills. You know, I, The Bills ended up benching Tyrod Taylor. So, you know, I believe he's going to be benched for this next game. You know, obviously, depending on what things happen, I got to go with New Orleans at home. The defense is playing great. Still got Drew Brees. The running game, running game has been really good for them, all around, just on every level. They play amazing. So I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with the Saints at home. Next one o'clock game, Kansas City Chiefs head to New York, New Jersey to play the Giants. I got Kansas City Giants. Completely giving up. Give me Kansas City to kind of have. A bounce back. They they really slowed down as the season went on, and those injuries are starting to catch up with Kansas City. But I got them in this game. Next game, Arizona Cardinals head to Houston play the Texans. Oh man, um, Arizona, I believe is Blaine Gabbert's going to be starting, or is it, is it going to be Skelton? I don't know. Both aren't really good. Houston, Sean Watson's gone. Tom Savage wasn't that bad, you know, um, this last out. But that team was really on a roll with uh, Watson in there. Ooh, it's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go with Houston. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry, it's my phone. But I'm going to go with Houston in this one. This, this is a tough one. Start of the 4 o'clock games, Buffalo Bills had to Los Angeles play the Chargers. Bills looked bad they looked really bad against new orleans now new orleans like i said is on a roll chargers mm. this is this one's tough too i'm gonna stick with the chargers I, I think the chargers get them at home the bills have been relying on a lot on, on defense they've been relying on a lot of like they've been relying on turnovers defense has been solid they've gotten a lot of tip ball turnovers and when they're not getting that, the offense just hasn't done as well. Tyrod, like I said, Tyrod Taylor got benched. The running game hasn't been that great. It's gotten better, but it hasn't still hasn't been great for the talent you have. You know, you, Sean McCoy is a guy that you want to play well. He's a guy that you want the ball in his hand in any way. He just hasn't played well. You know, running from the backfield or just you know getting the ball in terms of as a, as a receiver. Kelvin Benjamin. Didn't do much. They got beat down last week. It's only one week, so we'll, we'll have to see how that progresses with him. I'm going to go with the Chargers in this one. Next game, Cincinnati Bengals head to Denver play the Broncos. The Broncos have an issue at quarterback. Brock Osweiler didn't work. Trevor Simeon definitely didn't work. So, you might want to start the young guy. You, you might want to end up starting a young guy. At this point, your two other quarterbacks, I don't know why you brought back Osweiler. Was there someone else that you could have brought back instead of him? I believe his name uh Paxton Lynch. Play him. At this point, your team has been terrible. You've gotten blown out the last couple of weeks. Start playing him. The defense, the defense injuries, the guys just aren't playing as good. And they're on the field a lot. You know, short fields because these guys are turning the ball over. They're not moving the ball. I like Cincinnati in this one. Next 4 o'clock game. This is the last of the 4 o'clock game. New England Patriots had to Oakland play the Raiders. The Oakland has some of the worst pass. They, they rival the Atlanta Falcons with pass um, with play calling. For a team with this kind of talent, 
the play calling has been abysmal. New England's on a roll. Defense is out there getting stops. You know what the offense can do. You know Brady's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna dish the ball around to all these guys. You know the running game has been solid. Uh, I, pat, pass blocking has been better because early on in the season he was, you know, Brady was getting hit a lot. That's that's gotten better. And I already talked about the defense. I like the Patriots in this one. I I don't see how Oakland stops the offense of New England. They're gonna put up about forty. Uh, Sunday night game. Now this is the game that I'm doing the recap on. Philadelphia Eagles head to Dallas to play the Cowboys, and I think this is going to be a. I think the Eagles are going to destroy them. One, no Ezekiel Elliott. Two, Tyron Smith is out again. And if you watched last week, Adrian Claiborne looked like a Hall of Famer. You, you, they played Byron Bell. He was so garbage. He was one of the worst rated. Uh, offensive lineman last week. He was garbage. Uh, as a matter of fact, they started Chaz Green. He was garbage. He got benched. Byron Bell, you know, I know about Byron Bell. He used to play for the Panthers. He was garbage. So, you know, I think that's going to be it. Pass protection is going to be an issue this week. You, you see what happens. You see why offensive linemen are so important. I just don't see how Dallas can win this game. And then Sean Lee's gonna be out for the defense. If you looked at if you look at the numbers when Sean Lee's playing and when he's not playing, it's night and day how effective that defense is. I like the Eagles in this one. I I, I just I don't see how Dallas wins this one. I don't just based on the injuries. You know you're you're missing your best offensive weapon. I like the Eagles. Uh, Monday night, Atlanta Falcons head to Seattle to play Seahawks. Seahawks injuries have mounted on that defense, especially in that secondary. Richard Sherman, you know he's out for the season. Earl Thomas dealing with injuries. And now they're saying Cam Chancellor's out. You know, three, you know, three of your top defenders are banged up or out. The offense is going to have to carry them. But Russell Wilson's going to have to do a lot because... Uh, Griffin, opposite corner of Richard Sherman, has not been good this season. Atlanta could help him out with the play calling, but I thought last week uh, it was a lot better. You know, the defense helped a lot. Helped out a lot. They had eight sacks in that game. This one's tough. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna stick with Seattle. I. I, I think at home will help. I think at home will help with the injuries. I no, I can't. I can't go with them. The injuries, the Cam Chancellor injury was huge. You know, you, like I said, you already got Richard Sherman out. I like Atlanta to. I like Atlanta to win that one. I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think, just because Russell Wilson has had a good season. No one's really talked about it. But he's he, he's had to create a lot. He's been one of the most hurried quarterbacks in football. He's had to carry a lot of the load for this team. And it's only going to increase with the injuries on defense. Because they're not really going to be able to stop anyone. Now, they still got some playmakers on the defense, but not on the back end. So, I'm going to stick. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to go with Atlanta. No, no, no. Forget that. They're a division rival. Yeah, I know I picked New Orleans earlier. I'm going to go with Seattle. But uh, that was also one of the games I did a poll on, but the Cowboys Philly game one. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, what's your game of the week? Of course, how your picks been going, and you know, question: Who do you think is MVP up to this point? If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.